out of nowhere, this guy sneaks up on me and lifts me up and it was very traumatic. We didn't know what to do. I just tuned out for some time. I didn't know what was happening. Uh, my friend was with me and even she didn't know what was happening and we didn't know how to handle it. But thank God she was with me, some other friends were there and they came and they helped. But for a moment, it was really scary. I'm also very thankful to women like Minnie who are there to help around the streets if there's any such problem or any such extreme case. I don't know what would have happened if my friends or she wasn't there. I always think of my own children when I see these kids. I feel like they are much more luckier than me that I'm a I'm their driver, that is what I feel generally. Then it becomes my duty to take them home and make sure that they reach home safely. Uh, I feel like it's a very safe place to live. Uh, you think Bloomington is a safe place at night? A safe place at night? At, at night, yeah. Yeah. Do you want an honest opinion? Women should always be, always be. The best bet is stay with the buddy. The buddy system is yeah, the best buddy bet. System. Well, Bloomington after dark is a different kind of place than it is in the daylight, and uh, that may be true anywhere, but uh, I don't know, I think the students own the night around here. I never feel threatened, but I'm also sort of a, a man, and I feel like that is definitely working in my favor. There is a sense of, uh, of, of possession. We own this. This is our space. But it's not, it doesn't come off as a in a sort of belligerent way, it's just, it just is. Uh, I would not walk alone on the streets. Okay. By Why myself. Is Why is that? I would be a little bit intimidated. Um, there are definitely times when I feel a little uneasy, when, you know, I'm sort of away from downtown and I'm not, uh, nobody else is around and, you know, you never know what could happen. They were buying this, what we would like to call a spicy liquor, this uh, cinnamon whiskey they call Fireball, by the gallons. And then they were buying Fireball, condoms, and the morning after pill, in that order, as a package, as a party pack, if you will. I think the most recent one I heard was because of Little 500 weekend. That's, that's when everybody in Bloomington goes out. And there were, how many crime alerts were there that weekend? Three, four? I mean, it was pretty out of control. It felt like a, a lot. Like faked themselves as Uber drivers and they tried rape, absconding two girls. One or two of them were saved, but two of them got raped also. Maybe it's a power thing or, you know, people get drunk and rowdy and it's hard to understand where that comes from. Maybe it's a cultural thing or um, maybe there's pressure to do things like that. I'm not sure. They said that they are going to uh, find somebody, but I don't think so anybody was arrested for that. I don't know if there was somebody. That I have some privileges as a man that, that maybe women don't have, and one of those is to feel safe and secure. If you have money or if you have any political um, relationships, it's uh, no big deal. Bloomington not safe no more because Donald Trump, uh, our president, no. I don't believe in his policies. I definitely believe that he's increased racism whether it's America, whether it's India, whether it's any other country. So if the leader is practicing wrong things, people will follow him. Yeah, I mean, I remember hearing about, like, sort of a lot of racist assaults that were happening for a while there. So I don't think, I definitely don't think that it's, you know, international students coming in and wreaking havoc or anything like that. I think it's... Uh, maybe the opposite in certain cases where people are afraid of things they don't know or people they don't understand or know well. When I was an undergrad, I don't remember hearing about stuff like that, but that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I usually go out to a few restaurants and then spend, like, chat with my friends at the restaurant. And, or, I don't go to the bar because I, I'm not 21 yet, but, yeah, it's considered safe, safe, safe at night. I think because there's not much going on in the in the town. 